Hey guys, it's Addie from Frugal Fanatic. Today I wanted to share with you a quick video about my budget binder. One of the number one struggles that I hear from my readers is not only using a budget, but sticking to it. So to make it easier, I created a bunch of free printables. You can use the link below and go to my blog and print them out. And then once you have them, you can either put them in a binder or just staple them all together. Um, there's about nine pages. This is the front cover. But using a budget definitely can be difficult. Figuring out where you can cut back each month and how to prevent yourself from making impulse purchases and then increasing your savings account can be really hard. So to make it easy, I wanted to help you not only organize your finances, but also figure out ways to start to save money every single month. So this is the first page of the budget binder. It's just a cover. You can put it in the front of um, the three ring binder like I showed you or just use it in a folder. Um, the first page you'll come to is the monthly financial goals. And I use this to kind of just figure out how much money I want to save this month and how I'm going to do it. So not only does this help me, like say we want to save for a home improvement project. Well, every time I go shopping or I'm at the grocery store, I really think like, okay, do we need this or do we just want this item? And I, I try to think to myself, will this help us reach this goal? So this really helps me not only prevent myself from making impulse purchases, but it lets me have something to work towards. So on here, you'll see you can write three of your monthly financial goals and then how you're gonna reach those. So things that you wanna cut back on this month, um, changes you wanna make, maybe it's like not going and getting Starbucks coffee every day or just anything simple. And you can even put a monetary value next to it so that you know that's how much you can save when doing each of these tasks to reach these goals. And then also at the top, this is a little section that you can do what improvements can be made from last month. So say last month you made these goals and you didn't reach them. Well, what did you do wrong or what can you do differently this month to reach those goals? Um, and then you'll also see at the bottom there's just a small section for notes just in case you want to remind yourself about anything that's coming up. The next page is the yearly financial goals. And this one is really important because you always wanna have a reason to save or maybe have an exact amount because a lot of people just say, hey, I wanna increase my savings account. Well, you're really not gonna hold yourself accountable and be able to reach those goals unless it's something more specific. Just like when you're setting goals, a lot of times people use the SMART method and they make it so it's measurable and it's attainable and you set a deadline. So that's what the whole um, focus of this sheet is for. You want to set your goals. So maybe one of them is to save enough money for a family vacation this year. So you'll put why you want to save it, the total amount that you need to save to be able to go on that vacation, and then on here the date to complete it. So say you're starting this January 1st and you're writing your goals down for the year and your vacation's in August, you'd want to put the date to complete it or the date that you have to have all the money saved to be able to plan that event. Um, and then there are sections for five of them on here. So these could be big goals, they could be small goals, anything that you want to save towards this year. Um, the next sheet is your monthly bill and payment tracker. I hear from a lot of readers that they are losing money because they are missing payments or they forget some things due or they pay late. Well, this will help you keep track of the date, the bill, the amount, and then you can check off once you paid every single month. So this could be like your car payment, your mortgage, um, your utilities. It could even be a credit card payment so that you know, like when you look at this, you paid it in January, you paid it in February. You have the date that it's due every single month so you don't miss that payment because late fees and um, missed payment charges can really, really add up. By preventing yourself that $25 a month or $35 a month, you can add that to your savings and then start to build that savings account rather than paying it in like miscellaneous fees all the time. Um, another important sheet that I have in my binder is this free monthly budget printable, which if you are a reader of my blog, you hear me talk about this a lot. Um, this really, really helps you figure out not only your income, but all of your expenses. And you can take out categories or add categories to this and just really personalize it. But the whole goal of this sheet is to look at your income, look at your expenses, and see where the majority of your money is spent. 
So if you're spending way too much money in entertainment or way too much money at the grocery store, you can figure that out and, and teach yourself not to spend that much money by cutting back and using a food budget and paying in cash and not using your debit card. And there's just a lot of ways that you can save money every month by using a budget. And it'll let you see the leftover money you have each month so you know you can put that into a separate savings account and not touch it. In the budget binder, I also included a sheet that has all your bank account information on it. And this is just to help you stay organized. So you can list each account that you have on here and it has a place for the name, the routing number, the account number. Um, if you have online banking, there's a place for the password on there and the username. I know for us, I like to keep this all organized because we have like a personal checking and personal savings. I have my business accounts. We open bank accounts for our kids to start saving for their future. So whenever I need to make a deposit or um, transfer money, I can just quickly look at this and I have all the account information that I need and I can keep it organized with my budget binder. Uh, you'll also see a debt pay down worksheet. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but there's a section to put in the interest rate, the minimum payment, the due date of the payment, any extra money that you want to pay to help um, put on the principal, the payment sent, and then your remaining balance. And I like to print one of these out for each, um, each lender that you have. So if you have like a car payment or a credit card payment, this will help you um, see how much you're paying down each month. And you can also have like your end result so you know how long it'll take you to pay this off and how much extra you can be paying each month to lower this debt. I also like to include a blank monthly calendar. So you can print out 12 of these or you can even laminate it and then just use like a dry erase marker, which I do, and mark off the days. You can also circle like paydays on here. You can write in when payments are due or just use it as your regular calendar, but it'll just help you stay organized from month to month so that you know when you have money coming in and when you have money coming out. And then the last sheet I just have in here is the holidays and observances. And this is just so you know um, certain dates you can expect for, certain items you want to budget for, like you might forget about a particular holiday that's coming up or maybe um, you get paid for certain holidays or you get paid extra or this will just help you keep track of important dates that are coming up and you can even put them back onto your calendar here or just so you know what to expect. Um, the whole point of the budget binder is to really help you stay organized and to stay on top of your finances. If you know when payments are due, if you know how much you owe, if you know how much you can save each month, you can really start to gain control and get ahead rather than being in so much debt every month. You don't want to continue to miss payments just to pay for other things and you don't want to put things on credit cards just to alleviate that stress of having to pay for your mortgage. It's just going to get you farther and farther into debt each month. So I urge you to go to my blog, use this budget binder, print out these free worksheets, and get started with your own budget binder. If you have any questions, feel free, leave them below. I will answer anything. You can even email me, contact me through my blog, and I hope you enjoy the video.